In this example, we're going to look at how to use SPSS to do hypothesis testing using data from the 2012 General Social Survey. And so let's say that we, we uh, want to test the hypothesis that the population mean education is different from 12. How would we do that? Well, in SPSS, uh, we can just go to Analyze, Compare Means, and One Sample T-Test. So we just have to pick our variable. Uh, in this case, we're going to use educ. And we're going to move it over here to where it says test variables. And then if we click on options, uh, we can do things like set the confidence interval. So actually, this is another way to make confidence intervals, uh, which you could also do in PSPP. So we hit, hit cancel here. And we have to type in our test value. So let's say that we thought that the average education is different from 12. And so we'll t type in 12 as our test value. And that's compulsory education. So basically, this is some theoretical value that we think is, is equal to our education under the null hypothesis. So we're going to click OK. And SPSS will create some results testing our hypothesis. And so here we see that we have the total number of cases, our test statistic, which is our sample mean. It's going to give us our sample standard deviation, our estimated standard error of the mean. And it's going to give us a t-value for our degrees of freedom, which is basically just 1 minus the number of cases that we have. And here we have a p-value, along with a confidence interval. And so let's take a look at these things. So we have a sample of 100. 1,972 cases. Our sample mean is 13.53. Standard error is 0 0.07. Now, under the null hypothesis, we have a t obtained or a t value of 21.70. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if the null hypothesis is true, that is, if the population mean education really is 12, our test statistic, 13.53 uh, average years of education is over 21 standard deviations away. So that's a really long, long distance. And so we see here that our p-value is essentially zero. So the likelihood of this happening by chance alone is, is practically nothing. And so that means that we can reject the null hypothesis in favor of our research hypothesis. Uh, let's say this was, this is, notice that this is a two-sided uh, p-value. And so that basically that means we can reject, reject our, our null hypothesis that the true population mean income is 12 in favor of our research hypothesis that it's not equal to 12. And so if we wanted to have a p-value for a one-tailed test, we would just basically take our p-value and we, we would multiply it by 2. Now, how would we do this in PSPP? Well, if we go to PSPP, we can basically do the same thing we just did. And so if we go to Analyze, Compare Means, One Sample T-Test, we just find our variable, educ. And we're going to move it over here to where it says test variables. And then we'll type in our test value, uh, 12. And again, we can click on options. Uh, that'll give us a confidence interval if we want it. It's not necessary for hypothesis testing. We're going to click OK. And PSPP will create the output statistics that we want. So let's zoom in when we go to our output window. So we should have essentially the same values we had last time. We, we see we have a sample mean of 13.53. Of, of we use 1,972 cases. Uh, our standard error of the mean is, again, 0 0.07. Again, we get a t-value of 21.7 for 1,971 degrees of freedom. Our two-sided p-value is essentially 0. So again, if we just multiply by, that by 2, um, we get a one-tailed test p-value. Our test value is 12 which is the thing that we typed in. And so basically here that we can say uh, that we reject the null hypothesis. Uh, that is, the population mean education is, is not equal to 12. And then we have evidence in favor of our research hypothesis, which in this case is two-sided. And we think that, that uh, basically the population mean is something other than 12. It's definitely not 12 in the population. And so that basically answers our question. And we can do this kind of equally well in PSPP and SPSS. So either one's appropriate for this case.